This is a private outdoor solarium on the 41st floor of an apartment on Billionaire's Row. And I am Ryan Sirhan from Million Dollar Listing New York and sell it like Sirhan. And we are about to give you a tour of this $28.5 million apartment in Midtown. So I'm back with my friend Ryan Serhant, who is a real estate agent here in New York. You see, I, I didn't shave, so I could be more like you. Gosh. Look at that. Look I at like that. the scruff. Do you? I, like, I do like I the know scruff. you would. In the last million dollar apartment tour, people seem to really like it. I know. What do you have for us today? Uh, just something a little bit bigger, a little bit better, a little bit crazier. Actually, you know what? Show them. Go straight up. Show them up. Yeah, just, just up there. This is apartment 41D at 157 West 57th Street. It's a duplex, five bedrooms six bathrooms, 4,600 square feet interior, 671 square feet exterior, asking $28.5 million. So this is the entryway foyer. Let's start with kind of the most insane part of this place because I can't like show you a bathroom without taking you outside. All right, so let's go this. So first, this is the main living room. We actually call it a great room in an apartment like this. This room alone is 43 feet long, window to window. So it is the entire length of the building on this side of the building. And then if you look around, this is what you pay for. That's a little park called Central Park. This living room is about the size of your kind of, let's say, standard three bedroom rental apartment. And that's just this living room. So you have one living room here, you have a sitting room here, and then you have the dining room at the end. Ryan, who would move into a place like this? Kings of industry, right? Queens of industry. You're looking at some of the wealthiest people in the world who all live in this building. I mean, case in point, the two top apartments in this building have sold to Michael Dell for $100 million and to Bill Ackman and a bunch of friends for just over $90 million. This is only 28 and a half. So this is a steal. If you're worth hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, like this is gonna be where you come and you crash, you hang out. And this is the solarium. Huge ceilings, glass all the way around because of the architecture of the building that you have this jump. And so this is a solarium. So this is almost 700 square feet. It's indoor outdoor space because you can literally lay here and get direct sunlight all day long because you have all of these windows. And this doesn't exist. Like this is really, really hard to find. You look at any other building, they don't have these. 432 Park goes straight up. 111 West 57 goes straight up. Every other building has terraces, which we do too. But to have this type of ceiling with all of this glass, to have this amazing kind of indoor outdoor space that's on the 41st and 42nd floor on 57th Street, it's just, it's crazy. Hello, Central Park. Do you think anybody heard me? Can you yodel? Can you? Kitchen, roughly about half a million dollars. So this is the massive eat-in kitchen with separate breakfast area. The lighting is Catherine Newman. The kitchen is, I mean, that might even be more than half a million dollars, honestly. It's probably closer to a million. You have a whole melee package here, Nespresso, massive wine cooler. This is a cool feature too, right? So this way you never have to see bar stools. No way. Oh, so you have bar stools man. that come out that blend in as cabinetry. So you can keep these out when you want. Otherwise they slide back in and they look like cabinets if you're entertaining. And then those are the two massive refrigerators. Open those up. Oh no, that's not. It's over here. Nope. Just kidding. No. Two double wides. Wow. Freezer drawers, lots of cabinet space, lots of storage space. That's an amazing stove top behind you. There's lots and lots of storage space so people will cook or you go out to one of the most amazing restaurants in the world because they happen to be at your doorstep. On the main level here, you have one guest bedroom that we have set up as a home office. Could be just a den. Maybe this is where you put the TV. A lot of people use that extra bedroom for that space because they want that big formal great room to be exactly what we just saw it as. Kind of just the formal great room, no one touch anything. This is just an extra. Yeah, exactly. Well, let's go upstairs. I'll show you the master suite. And you see these little details that are carried throughout, like the lighting, this paneling is on the ceilings in those other rooms carries all the way up here just to keep it like warm you know to kind of carry the story throughout the space you're spending over 28 million dollars in an apartment everything has to be perfect so this way is the master suite which is one of the coolest master bedrooms ever you're looking out at the park and this is what you wake up to i could come and be like <sighs> just waking up mr eric would you like some coffee Sometimes Ryan is saying all these facts and I don't really know what to say in response just because what he is saying is so crazy. And he knows so much, like every detail. He's just so much information, so many facts, and it's just like, do they know who I am yet? 
Oh, this is Mike. We work together on production of lots of videos, including this one. And this is just the bedroom. So the whole suite, the master suite, is the same exact size as the living room downstairs. And it's just for two people to sleep. This walk-in closet is bananas. Yeah, this kind of brings me back to my first apartment in the city. Probably, maybe it's two of these. This is nice because you have all this underlighting that just highlights the clothes so that when you're getting dressed in the morning, it's as if you're getting dressed in your own personal Bergdorf Goodman. This is the master bathroom. A window into the shower, which has a bench that has another window looking out at all your billionaire friends. You know, a lot of bathrooms just have a wall yeah. and then you have mirrors hanging. They didn't want to encumber on any of the natural light or the floor to ceiling glass. So you have floor to ceiling glass all the way around your master bathroom and it's big enough that you actually have everything built inside. So we have these hanging mirrors here with still lots of room for storage. You can sit here, maybe have a little bubble bath, and you can look back at billionaires row. But what's cool is you have a little bit of glass here that goes out to the other toilet, so you can knock on the window and be like, hey. And then this one has the bidet, because obviously when you're using the bidet, you need to have a view. <laughs> How much would this bathroom run us? Let's say this is 100 square feet. The whole apartment is asking 6,200 a foot. That means that this bathroom alone costs, just to buy it, $620,000. So this is guest bedroom number two, if we're counting downstairs. Top, top, couch. So we got another bedroom over here. This is bedroom number three. Again, same high ceilings. A lot of times in duplexes, you're gonna find apartments where we've got big ceilings on the lower level, lower ceilings on the upper level, but we're even. Right, right, your average studio in the city is 450 square feet. 10 studio apartments fit inside this apartment on average. So, I mean, if you're new to this channel, I don't live in a place like this. So this is a very <laughs> rare peak. And this is the fifth bedroom. A little bit larger because it's longer and it has the two windows. And it also faces the park, which is nice. It's the only other bedroom in the apartment that faces the park. Man, it's a good room for, for anybody. Huge thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Comment down below more Ryan if you want to see more videos with Ryan and I going and doing apartment tours in crazy places like this one. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more apartment tours. And if you haven't already, go subscribe to Ryan's channel, check out his videos, show him some love. And with that, I will see you in the next video.